Hey guys, for today's video, I have the new Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Ultra Fine Mist. Now this is 35 Canadian dollars or 28 US dollars and you get 75 mils or 2.53 ounces of product. Now not gonna lie, this is like half the size that I thought it was gonna be when I bought this online. I mean, that's my own fault. Like I should have read how much you're actually getting and compared it to my other setting sprays, but I just imagined this to be a little bit bigger than what I got. So I got it in the mail and I was like, oh, all right. <laughs> the packaging on this though is the cutest. Like light pink is my jam. It's just simple and cute and like everything I could want for it in packaging. The outside is plastic, not glass. And then it stores like upside down. You flip it up, spray it. I really hate this plastic bag though. Like as cute as it is, the watermelon and everything, such a waste, like I don't know why this needs to be existing at all. The formula on the inside is pretty cool. You have all the dark pink at the top and then you shake it up and it starts to separate like instantly. As soon as it all meshes together, it starts to go back pretty much instantly. At first glance, it kind of looks like there's shimmers in here, but it's just all the bubbles on the side. It's not, it doesn't have any shimmer on the inside. So this is basically um, advertised as a hydrating and just ultra fine glowy mist. It has a watermelon to soothe your skin, hydrate and provide vitamins, hyaluronic acid to also hydrate and then hibiscus to smooth the texture and soften your skin. The suggested use is every three to four hours, shake it well, and I am quoting this. Hold closer to face for maximum dewy effect. Like, <laughs> like, how dewy do I really want to be today? More, more, more. Obviously not, but I just thought it was funny, okay? You can use this as a toner, um, which I don't really do, but you would use this after your cleanser and like before you moisturize kind of thing. And you can also use it as a makeup enhancer. So do your makeup and then spray it on top of your makeup once you're done. I like doing that and I also like doing it um, in between my makeup steps. Like I'll dot my foundation on and spray this on and then blend everything out and it actually looks pretty nice. So the mist is just beautifully fine. It's not continuous or anything, but you do get like quite a bit from one little spritz and it smells so good. Like it's a light watermelon scent, like obviously the fake watermelon scent, you know? Like I just want to spray this directly into my mouth. <laughs> so I'm just going to demo this on my skin. I haven't put any on today yet. I've applied my makeup like three or four hours ago now. Um, It's the NARS Natural Radiant Foundation. So I do have like a bit of highlighter on, um, but this is just my skin beforehand. So you can see in my demo. Honestly, I've tried this a few times though. You're not gonna be able to see much. <laughs> so this is after it's all dried now. I mean, it's not a huge difference. It's pretty much looks the same as how it did before. My skin does feel a bit like tacky to the touch, but when I'm just sitting here, like I can't feel anything on my face. Once it dries, it really sinks into your skin. So compared to my Cover FX Dewy Setting Spray, that actually like, once it's dry on my skin, it leaves it looking shiny and dewy. But once this one has dried on my skin, like it pretty much just sinks in and just leaves my skin looking healthy, not necessarily dewy or shiny. Like yeah, it'll look dewy once it's wet and initially sprayed on, but then it dries down and just kind of looks more natural. It just leaves my skin feeling like refreshed and moisturized and like plumped up at the same time. It's actually like a really nice feeling. So it doesn't help your makeup to last longer throughout the day, but it does help Help to give you a like a refreshment throughout the day. I would say like after trying this for a few days now, this spray is best for hydration and adding moisture into your skin. Definitely takes away any dull powderiness that you would have just uh, by the nature of it being a wet product onto powder, like it'll help take that away, but it doesn't like leave a layer of shine on your skin. But yeah, I'd say it's like a nice little treat. It's um, the first product that I've tried from Glow Recipe. Besides, I think I've tried like a sample or something maybe, but this is the first product that I've actually bought from the company. It's definitely not a necessity product. Like if you want moisture, you can layer up a moisturizer underneath your makeup. But I mean, I guess it's kind of hard to, once you've done your makeup, 
add moisturizer on top of it so it could be nice in that sense i have really dry skin so keep that in mind uh when i'm talking about this and everything so yeah despite the disappointment in the size um, i'm pretty happy with this product that's all that i have for today's video thanks so much for watching and i will see you guys later bye